at SHOT Show 2023, Bond Arms, a company previously known for their work with Derringers, revealed a new lever action AR they have in the works. They may actually have a leg up on the competition with how quick they were able to bring this thing to fruition. They've included a few cool features, like the fact that any AR upper that can accept a Remington 870 stock can also be used on their product. The one displayed by Bond Arms actually had a Magpul Remington 870 stock attached to it. And if you don't want the synthetic look, you can also use a wood for a more traditional look. A few cool features with this lever action are the fact that the loop of the actual lever can be removed and swapped out for a larger one if you want to shoot with gloved hands. Also, the fact that it is a traditional AR in a sense, there's a myriad of different options of how you can attach optics, sights, scopes, lasers, you name it. The owner of Bond Arms actually went on to say that they spent over a year redesigning kind of how the AR works in a sense, and they are utilizing a cam lock feature that allows you to easily eject a spent cartridge and rechamber a new one. Because of the orientation of this AR that utilizes the 870 stock, you wouldn't be able to easily reach the mag release. So they did make an extension that causes the mag release to be located above the trigger guard. So a simple switch of the finger and you can easily press it. Also included is an out of battery bolt carrier safety. And by that I mean the gun has an inability to fire if that bolt is not closed and seated properly. This AR will be available in many different calibers from the 5.56 to the 300 Blackout to the 300 Hammer, the 9x19, 450 Bushmaster, and the 50 Beowulf. They went on to say that this will essentially support any chambering that utilizes a rotating locking bolt in a traditional AR. Due to the design also technically having a shotgun stock, it gives people the ability in restrictive states to still enjoy it. Bond Arms did add that they are looking for a release at the end of 2023. And this rifle is supposed to have an MSRP around $1,500. They did note that they don't intend to sell them separate as an upper or a lower, giving you the ability to customize your build and put, a, put whatever upper you would like on it, which I know will have a lot of people up in arms, no pun intended, but they may change their minds. Don't hold them to it yet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're looking forward to this just as much as I am. Be sure to click that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the newest releases, and I will continue to bring you any updates I get. And as always, until next time, stay safe.